Iromians, I'm Druznik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of The Lion's Roar in our Crusader Kings 3 series. So, as we know, our king here, our 37-year-old king, who hopefully still has a long life ahead of him, he had a vision. He saw God, he believes, and he knows that if he does not accomplish his family's goals, nobody will. Even though he has five beautiful sons, no daughters at all, his wife is not pregnant. No, no, he just had a new baby, Willem, Willem's Zoon. <laughs> uh, even though he, um, he has five beautiful boys and he's athletic and he's geared up to be all kinds of good things, um, it's up to him. And if he doesn't do it, nobody will. So that means that he has been eyeing both Maastricht and Antwerpen. He tried to get Maastricht, he tried to attack Sweden, and he basically failed. We had a white piece, so that's good enough. After that, he went around uh, all kinds of courts in um, Northwest Europe, basically, and asked everybody a very friendly, do you want to be my vassal? A few said yes, a few said no, or he didn't ask them, I guess. But he knew that they would say no. So we are a little bit bigger, but <laughs> uh, this is our troop size, basically. Not, not troop size, but you know what I mean. Our soldiers, three, almost 3,900, and we are nowhere near being able to kill Sweden. Although with our allies, maybe. However, he also has a lot of allies, and that is pretty much the problem. Now, he has a lot of vassals, and... Some of those vassals have a lot of troops. So we could, you know, think about, okay, is there anything we can try to do um, to make these guys basically break up with him? For example, this dude owns Upland, which incidentally also owns Maastricht. Um, now, I don't know, though, because what, what can I possibly do? I could sway him, but... <sighs> You know, I don't know how that would help me get rid of, or basically have him go for independence. Look at how many kills this guy has. It's impressive. <laughs> yeah, he has medicine focus. Yeah, I think you're using that medicine for something else. What happened to your nose, by the way? And look at all these modifiers. Holy moly. Well. So yeah, if this guy would suddenly decide, you know what, I don't want to be with Sweden anymore. He he could stand a chance, you know, to break off, uh, although he has the same troop strength as I do, so I don't know how he would do it. Now, they are of the same family, so, and this guy is fickle, arrogant, and greedy. He's not ambitious or anything, so I'm not sure if there's anything I can really, really do. Which is a little bit unfortunate. It's quite unfortunate. Um, and you know, I, I can't declare war on this guy. I can only declare war on the top leash. Now, if I look at Aquitaine, then Antwerp is not under the, uh, the king's dominion, so that's good. However, this king has even more troops, but fewer alliances. If I were to attack him, maybe, maybe with my allies, strength combined... I could actually wrestle Antwerp away from him. I think Antwerp has a good chance of succeeding. So, um... What can I do, though? I think I... Don't I already have a claim on Antwerp? Maybe I don't. Do I need one? I guess I do, don't I? We have Count Diederich's claims, which is exactly Antwerp. But Count Diederich's 57, so we might actually want to put our chaplain in 18 months to work on these claims. Mercenary contract expiring, that is fine. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, what I have to do, is increase my men at arms regiment sizes. I think that would be a smart idea. Now, mostly the Swedes had a lot of heavy infantry, which you can combat or, or counterbalance with light footmen. Counter, thank you. 
counter. Now this guy has a lot of armored footmen as well, and then light horsemen. So what we basically want to do is increase the size of our skirmishers and our pikemen. So let's increase these guys. 45, I have that. And maybe I should also increase these guys. 75, that's basically most of my gold. And this would be another 45. I could do this right now. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, I'm invited to a feast. Inspire. Impatient, forgiving, humble. So I don't think he's going to kill me. He is my vassal. But I'm not his rightful liege, so he's not giving me a lot. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come. I'm not shy. I have a warm welcome, even. Good, I look forward to it. Ooh, a secret exposed. The shameful truth has, li has reached the light of day. My vassal, Countess Hiligonda, has copulated with her lover, Crete. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage. Hmm, do I gain anything from... Oh, Ansberg. Right. Should I imprison her? Why? I mean, she doesn't have a spouse, so if she's pregnant, that's quite, quite suspicious. So, mm, I don't think it can go unpunished. Yeah. I am diligent. I'm forgiving, though. I am forgiving. But that's not what I'm saying here, though. No, no, no. I, I'm sorry, but I have to punish you. I am very sorry. Now, I can immediately release you, though. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, make you pay for your own release. <laughs> That's it, there we go. So, 50 gold back, and I, I guess she's not very happy with me. Um, no, no, she likes me. Because of my forgiving nature, Grant, so... Uh, yeah, you can you can go right back to being uh, the spy master. What are you? Do you have a husband? Yeah, you do. It's my son. Okay, you're you're pregnant. Great, that's just great. <laughs> I don't even recognize my own daughter-in-law. Oh yes, and this is gonna go away out of my territory. I should not forget this. Why are you so white? Oh, you're an albino. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, my son Ludwig has come of age. They're going to get married immediately. Oh, can't stop it anymore. Now, I do remember I had a um, very, very uncomfortable betrothal. Wasn't that with you? Uh-huh. Yes, Bavaria. Right, 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 right. And I wanted to keep you as a friend, but I didn't really want to do this because I think it was a matrilineal marriage, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna b break this betrothal. Because this is not, not, not a very good betrothal. So, I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. But I'm gonna break this betrothal. And I know that we don't have an alliance right now, but... Maybe we can negotiate one. There we go. That's better. Much, much better. Okay. So I can find a better wife for my son. Which is exactly what I want. Um, however, I don't know what I really want to do with him. I don't have an alliance with Savoy anymore, but he is too young. So that's not gonna work. Oh, but he does have an heir. Is that a sister? No? I don't know where you are. 41? Oh, no, 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 that's not a good idea. And my son, he's he's an adult already. So he needs somebody. Oh! Call to war. The tyranny of King Heinrich has a defender. Ber Bertrud of Nürnberg is uh, declaring war. A thousand troops. I'm gonna accept this, though. Sure, man. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good friend, sometimes. Mostly I'm not, but sometimes I am. Oh, look at Aragon! No, 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 that's not Aragon. Oh, a child of my dynasty. Good! My daughter-in-law, Krimhild, has given birth to 
a daughter. Is that my first, um, first grandchild? No. Oh, her Linda. That's fine. So you can get girls. I don't know why I can't get any girls. Um, what about you? You have two claims, Hamburg and Dithmarschen. It's not too bad. Oh yes, my lifestyle perk. Hang on, is it paused? Maybe we should pause the game. Or maybe it's paused when you go into this. I actually don't know. Um, I definitely want August. That's it, right? Yeah. So, I gained August. Fantastic. Diplomacy plus two, martial plus one, prestige plus one a month. Sweet. Everybody should want to be my friend. Now, I am still looking for a wife for my son, for my eldest. <laughs> the Countess of Modena. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, you do. Oh, she's already uh, done for. Dangerous faction. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is everything happening at once? What's going on? Oh, the Saxon, the Saxon Asatru populists. Ooh, we'll put them down. It's okay. It is okay. Count Diederik converted culture from Saxon to Franconian. Huh. Interesting. And we have promoted a commander. Very good. 16. He's a vindictive maniac and he's very stupid. I don't... He's a military engineer, though. It's fine. You can serve me. You can be a commander. Should we get rid of these guys? Mm, there are hostile... Oh, there are hostile armies right there. That is not funny. That is actually highly unfunny. So... Boop, 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 boop. Closest rally point, but we only have one, I think. No, no, we have another one. But let's... um. Oh, there. Let's get one uh, out here. Kill them. Kill them right now. Oh, Rasso is killed. But we're killing them now, so that's good. What are we getting for it? Da 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 da! 35 loot and some prestige. Okay, uh, let me think. <laughs> Who could be a good friend? Aragon, you have 1,400 troops. That's not too bad. You have a girl here. You're infirm. Oh, I have to be fast. Your son. But with a sister, that would still be a valid, valid alliance. But she's so young, it's ridiculous. Hey, hello, are you alone? Do you want to be my vassal? Oh, I can't because I'm at war. No, that's not that's not it. I uh he's only at minus twenty-one. Yo, do you wanna be my vassal? <laughs> he's still at war. I'm gonna keep asking people until they say yes. I'm gonna annoyingly keep keep sending messenger pigeons to them and going, Hey, yo, do you want to be my vassal? Do you? Do you? Do you? Maybe? No. Okay, um, I'm still looking for a wife for my son. What is, what is this? Head of faith? No, I don't need gold. You can transfer account? No, no, I don't want to do that. Powerful. Ah, yes, my son can marry. Oh, a guardian for Anton. Imprison Godi. Why do I want to imprison you? I'm very forgiving, though. Because you're a treacherous antagonist. You're my vassal, though. You own a temple. Mm, he will leave to become a wanderer. That's fine. Let's just try it. Um, but I was thinking something else. Oh, I need to have a new archbishop. Really? Alain! Okay. What was I thinking again? Man, why am I so terrible? Oh yes, Anton. Anton has a needs a guardian. You. So you're going for learning. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Because our um, priest died. So 
Let's find you a new guardian with a little bit more learning. Eckbert would be okay, but oh! Oh, your own brother! There you go! Your own brother. Helge has man managed to avoid capture and has fled to the countryside. Traitor! Oh, the faction targeting me has disbanded. Great! Fantastic. Okay, um, still looking for a good ally. Maybe I can marry into this. I have a 34 year old daughter, but everybody's probably married. That is the problem. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> although maybe there's a. Oh, that's the city. And the county. Oh, you're the county holder. Look at that. Oh, she's already betrothed, but she's not. Could we do this? No. Definitely not. Okay. Don't even consider it again. Now, these guys are still a sop true, unfortunately. Do you want to be my vassal? <laughs> It's everybody's. Oh! A lion's invalid. Felipe de Azagra. What did you own? I don't remember. Ah! My niece. Okay. No, I, don't, I don't think you owned my niece, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh! A notable guest has arrived who's a good fighter. Do we need... Oh, we do need more Kanyigits! So... 25. Yes, you are hired. Ooh, that's expensive. Fine, you're hired. And I'm going to increase de, 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 the light footman. Yeah. There we go. Do I want to increase these guys again? I do, but I don't have the money. Almost. Almost. And then I'll have three, six hundred thousand, eleven hundred levies. Uh, men at arms. Sigh. Okay, um, so that's not bad. Oh, these guys are still trying to go uh, solo. That's fine. And now I want. Well, I have 11 out of 11 knights, I have my levies, I have my men at arms. Mm, back to 3.5k troops because I the mercenaries went away, but that's okay. I still need a nice girl. You know what? I can just go and do the character finder. And say, female, unmarried... Would be good if she would be Christian and Central German. No, doesn't have to be. Not our dynasty. Dynasty, dynasty. What is it really? All relation, diplomatic range, inside. And then, can we get an intelligent girl? For example, French girl with the claims on the duchy and the county of Bourbon. Bourbon. She's already a duchess. She's 11. 11 years old, and this is her king. Do you want to marry my son? No. Really? <laughs> arrogance. The arrogance. Why? Too many existing alliances, most of all. Okay. Um... Russ is too old. I accept you, but you're too young. Okay, so not intelligent. What about... Quick. It's not as good. This one is pretty good. Countess of Lancashire. House Trolley. Do you want to get married to my boy? Mine's 19. Oh, she, is she already married? No. <laughs> of 
course not. It's just her own marriage, and she, I guess she doesn't really want to get married. She's a bold gentlewoman. I like you! I, wa I want my son to marry you. Can I... What if I... Um... Offer you a ward? Uh, this little thing. Yeah. Will that... will gain up to 15 opinion of you. I want to pin you. So that when you like me a little bit more... Maybe we should unpin the people that we don't follow anymore. Because... I was still minus 19. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, is there anything else I can do? I can sway her. Paying homage. My vassal, Baroness Helena, has arrived outside my castle with a grand procession of well-dressed diplomats, knights, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade led by Helena herself. In a booming voice, Helena announces that she's here to pay homage and that she comes bearing gifts of gold. Such generosity is hard to find in a subject. Helena's loyalty is truly something to treasure. Her Gary is impatient content. She's a compassionate follower, so I'm guessing she is actually not trying to trick us. Please enter. Deposit the gold on your left. 50 gold. Surely you have more to give. Keep the gold. Your friendship is enough. Definitely that's not what I'm going to say. I'm humble, so I'm not going to ask for more. I would not do that. That would be against my character, I feel. So I'm just going to say thank you for what you have. I really want to ask for more, but I don't think Willem would do that. I really don't think he would do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, let me see. Yes, we will lose some... A part of our realm when a vassal dies. Are you at war yet? Oh, you have a new ally, Abyssinia. That's far away, though. Why? Why are you so stable? Why are you so darn stable? And how are you doing? Why is everybody stable? What is this? What is this? Minus six. There we go. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. You have my heir. Oh, look at that. He's winning the war. He's gonna be happy. Uh, what else could I do? What else could I do and increase my territory without doing anything? Are you still at war? No, you're not. Yeah, great. Um... <laughs> no. 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 I could sway one of those guys, I suppose. No. Denmark, what's going on? Oh. Defend against Shelland. You're still not at war with anybody. Um, hang on. You're still training commanders. Yeah, our levies are fully organized, though. We could increase control with you. For example, in Groningen or Holland. Let's, let's in increase control in our main, main holdings. That makes sense to me. Um, you are disrupting schemes. That's good. Acquaintance taken prisoner. We don't care. Uh, do, 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 do. Should we do some domestic affairs? No, we want to do foreign affairs. Because maybe that will ingratiate us to other people. Now, you are done. You could convert more faith, but I don't really care about those places. So let's fabricate a claim on Antwerp. And, and, and... Oops. I still have only three out of five in my domain. You know, maybe I can increase crown authority? Should we try it? Pass this law. And see if I can take... Uh... Yeah, see, I can do this without being viewed as a tyrant. 
She won't like it. But I just don't want to lose it, you know? I can... I want to get everything. But definitely want to get this. And Overstick we can fight over. She's not going to accept it, but that's okay. Um... She could rise up in rebellion with other disgruntled vassals. But the rest really loves me. That's the power of being a diplomat. Give me back this title. There we go. To war! Yo. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You. Come help. You. Come help. You. Come help. Thank you. Oh, the transgeranium is not far away. Hey, somebody called me false. What's that all about, huh? Oh. No. No. No, I was too late. No. Oh. on a stick. Yep. Well, I want it back. Just this? Ah, oh, no. Well, technically we don't need this. This is the real part of Frisia. We really need this. So I want that. I'm gonna declare war. Give it to me, woman. Oh, 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 oh. Child of my dynasty, Zigada. Varia? Ah, maybe I don't need you to go help. Hang on. These guys are not the worst, apparently. More men at arms counter? Really? 643 spearmen. They've got onagers, too. Okay. Cross water, friendly. What if we do this? No. Definitely want you there. Well, let's just win it. Come on, we're not gonna lose that one. Good job. Go, go, go. Oh, one of our knights was slain, but we are winning it. And, yes. Diederik, you're doing a good job. You're gonna get Antwerpen at some point. As a reward. Yes, yes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Is this a bug? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, a call to war. Peasant uprising. Oh, yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, so. What do we go for? I don't think we're gonna go for patriarch. I think we're gonna go for. Diplomat? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to end the episode. Dang! I'm having so much fun. Well, I'm gonna stop the episode here, and then in the next one, we are going to definitely take Overstick back. We have lost this part of the territory, but it's okay. I think we can... Uh, ooh, Knights Templar has been established. Um... We can deal with that. We haven't really lost any levies because she really wasn't giving much to us. So that's fine. Now we'll have sole control over Overstick. So actually, it's it's not terrible. I don't think they'll hold on to this. So that's what's going to happen. And so in the next episode, we will end this war and then see if we can set our sights on this part again. Now, uh, this is the last episode before Christmas. The last episode of... of, of um, Crusader Kings. So, if you celebrate Christmas, I wish you a very, very merry, happy Christmas. And if you don't, I uh, just wish you a very good week. I hope you have a few days off. I do. And um, enjoy the holidays. And I will see you next time. Now, let's resolve this first. Tactics, tactics and strategy have always been strengths of mine, and I wish to share my expertise in these topics with you. If you have some time available for some lessons, I would be happy to teach you what I know. Oh, good. 
He would get a weak hook on us, but he owns Nassau. He would have a favor. Taking strategy lessons. Marshall plus three. You know what? That's not bad right now, given what we want to do. So it's greatly appreciated. Thank you. I'm going to stop the episode right now on the 31st of December. Well, what do you know? It's magical. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.